Hi kids! Welcome back! For today, we are going to discuss your lesson about investigating changes that happened in the application of heat. For our most essential learning competency, investigate changes that happen in materials under the following conditions. Number one, presence or lack of oxygen. And number two, application of heat. For today's objective, investigate changes that happen in the application of heat. Let's ignite your curiosity, discover something new, unleash your inner scientist with Science 5! I am your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. During summertime, our country experienced high temperature. Some classes were suspended due to the high heat index. There are also increase in the number of people suffers from heat stroke. Animals also experience same condition during this time. Crops of farmers died due to lack of water brought by the intense heat. But what is heat? How does heat change a certain material or situation? Let's find out. For our guide questions. Number one, what is heat? Number two, what are the instruments used to measure heat? And number three, how does the application of heat affects materials? Take a look at these two illustrations. What are these? What do you think they have in common? That's right, the sun and the bonfire emit heat. Then, what is heat? Sun is the basic source of heat here in our planet. It provides warmth to all the living things. Our planet is livable because of heat. Heat It is produced when energy is transformed. Heat is a type of energy that transferred from one body to another as the result of a difference in temperature. Heat energy. It is also called as thermal energy. It is produced from the temperature of a heated material. Are you familiar with these devices? Have you used one of these? What does these devices measure? Yes, you're correct. These are thermometers. It is a device used to measure the temperature of an object. Thermometers have out two types, which are the digital, the digital thermometer, thermometer, which shows the number the immediately, thermometer, and the analog that uses mercury, which goes up when in contact with hot objects or high temperature. Let's try to observe and investigate these first set of illustrations, what do you think they have in common? Burning a crayon, a melting candle, and an ice cream under the sun. Yes, you're correct. These three examples shows the presence of heat. The three exhibits change in their physical appearance as heat is applied on the material. Therefore, Burning a crayon, melting a candle, and an ice cream under the sun is an example of physical change with application of heat. Now, it's your turn. Can you give some examples that shows physical change with application of heat? How about this set? Let's observe and investigate this second set of illustrations. What do you think they have in common? Frying an egg Burning a paper Grilling a chicken breast Good job! These three examples shows as well the presence of heat. The three exhibits change in their physical appearance and at the same time with their chemical structure 
as heat is applied on the material. We cannot turn them back to their original state. Therefore, frying an egg, burning a paper, and grilling a piece of chicken breast in a hot flaming charcoal are examples of chemical change with application of heat. Would you name some materials that undergo chemical change with the application of heat? Did you learn something new in our today's lesson? Good job! I'm so happy to hear that. See you again in our next lesson. This is your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. See you again in our next one. Bye!